Yeah. It's a little more. Is it has a more of a dance vibe to it? that record i've seen it but i don't know i mean i've beautiful, seen beautiful beautiful yeah. music what it kind of stuff out Friday. what kind of stuff is it it's like a folk music folk. It's so it's mexican worth mexican it. summer label i don't know that label uh, it's a beautiful one it's where uh arrow pink was so it's muy bonita yeah, yeah muy bonita. Correct. so are you telling me i should get it uh yeah i think you would like it a lot This is up your alley. It's a uh, folky. You try to sell me everything that I've never heard. Oh, it's the Mexican summer one. All right. Yeah, but yeah. it's really but, good. Yeah. So she, they rediscovered her. She, she cut that album like 50 years ago. Yeah. And then she did another album. I think the vendor Von Hart, yeah. uh, like got a record yeah. by her. And, and she She's an orthodontist. Wow. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. She's touring now. Yeah. She's touring yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Okay.
whining a lot. I'm finding some stuff. You're fine. Uh, you're so modest. Are these records you're going to reissue? No, no, no. These probably not. But uh, they, and you're just you're just starting out JBL 100. Just starting Frank. out. Just got here. And we yep. got. Look at this guy. He brought uh, he brought a camera from the space station. Bring some stuff to trade, but what is I that? What is that? Alexa acoustic music. From yeah, Mexico. but I just didn't want to have to deal with it on the okay. plane and all the that. First, like nonsense. experimental, the old experimental record from Mexico. Yeah. What else in there? This the record for Stunty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does he know? He got it? Yeah, yeah, he knows. Yeah, okay. so where did where did you find that? Did he have that person have like a lot of stunts? Yeah, that guy, that guy, no, yeah, yeah. in Sweden. Yeah. And what did you get? Is, did you get that? I think yeah. Are you looking for anything? Because I already. What is it? House of Leather, the black. Um, yeah, stuff in there. House of Leather. There's also. Man, fucking a. Good things must come to an end. Uh, so let me give you a little showcase of the records I picked up. Starting with the Tubes, I believe it's her second album on AM Records, Young and Rich. Uh, this is produced by Ten Ken Scott. The first one was produced, uh, the first one's my favorite Tubes album. I like their AM albums better than their more commercial albums on Capitol, but uh, great record. Um, Young and Rich, love that. The Anangar Shankar Experience, uh, I have had this on CD since it came out. Real World Records, I didn't know it was on vinyl, but this is that period of time where CDs were the thing. Uh, this is Bengal bar loungy uh, with a beat. So it's kind of Buddha bar music a little bit, but I love this record. Uh, it's kind of an East meets West uh, type of uh, experience. Two LPs, again, on um, Real World Music, Peter Gabriel's label. Just a nice copy of Esquivel. I love Esquivel. The Bachelor Lounge, uh, big band, uh, Latin music on RCA stereo. Nice copy, nice cover with all the hypes. This has a demonstration. Uh, so this is kind of a cool, cool record. I got two X records. I realize I don't have all my originals anymore. And so I got um, Wild Gift on X record. Of course, the L.A. punk band with John Doe, Exene, um, Billy Zoom and uh, DJ wrote back uh, more fun in the new world. Just two great records. Their first one is probably their best, but their first four records are absolutely just spot on. Great punk band that had a little bit of a country edge, not country, but um, their little rockabilly thing happened, uh, and then folk thing with the Knitters, the off project. Now this is something I used to have. And uh, not, again, a particularly rare thing, but I don't see it a lot. This is Voice Farm. They were a duo out of San Francisco. New wave electronic duo, pop-ish. Um, I got this for a couple of reasons, because uh, I used to not really know these guys. These guys were running in the same circles. They were doing a lot of advertising work, jingle work. And the designer that I collaborated with on some albums for Blue Note with my photographer, Michelle Clement, Tom Bonaro, Designed this cover. He always had this really kind of minuscule uh, type face here. It's hard to see here, obviously, but it used to be so minuscule that you could hardly read it. So in the CD era, of course, uh, that was an issue, but on vinyl. So it's not a particularly, I think this was $8, uh, 87 cent pop near mint. Uh, but I just remember them. So that's more of a sentimental uh, purchase. I got two. Um, Terrence Trent Darby records. I have these on CDs, and again, and this is one of those artists I almost forget about. And uh, but these are good albums, and we'll see if they hold up on vinyl. I haven't heard them in a while, but um, they were relatively. Uh, what was this? This is fifteen dollars, and this one was twenty-five. Uh, so Terrence Trent Darby, Columbia Records. The Beatle Connection. I got two Beatle Connection records. I uh, can't take it out of the shrink right now, but uh, this is a uh, George Martin Orchestra doing Help. This is a UK copy. I've never seen it quite like this. This is the wonderful photograph used on the CD long box set of George Martin. 
And of course, they're going to sell it to you putting pictures of the Beatles on here. But uh, Studio 2 Series, Columbia EMI. I have his uh, United Artists, all his solo records, the American versions. I bought a MoFi. I love uh, this album. I have an original of this, but uh, it was a decent price. And of course, this is uh, that great group that became Little Village. Little Village album isn't anywhere near as good as this one with Ry Cooter and Nick Lowe and Jim Keltner. This is a perfect record. Another copy of uh, Jefferson Airplane's Bless His Pun Little Head because it's in shrink and it's got the hype sticker. One of the great live records of the San Francisco psychedelic scene. Um, Jack Cassidy's bass on this is just killer. This is a fantastic live record. A record I didn't have on vinyl as well, Emmylou Harris. So this is a non-such record. I didn't even know this came out on vinyl. This is uh, All I Intended to Be. This is from 2008 on non-such, a double album because I have the CD. I just missed this. Uh, this was after Wrecking Ball. Was it one or two records after Wrecking Ball, as I recall? A beautiful record. I'm all in on Emmylou Harris. Uh, now, this is a rare one. I do have the reissue of this, but this was kind of a nice, fine as clip. But it's in pretty nice shape. The great Tammy Terrell. Love this record. Um, she died way too young. Uh, aneurysm, I think. Brain tumor. Uh, album with uh, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. But there was a reissue a couple years ago or a record store day. But um, having an original as clean is kind of nice. Marvin Gaye, just one record I didn't have. Uh, I never had this record. This is the a double album called Here. My Dear, by the great Marvin Gaye. A couple of things I picked up that are not rare. They're just, uh, I got these at one of the record stores I went to. And these are just uh, records I wanted to get. I'm sure I could have ordered them at home and maybe found them at home. An early Andrea, Andrea, and, excuse me, uh, Andrean Lenker. I talked about her being in Big Thief and her new album is one of my favorite albums of this year. So I decided to pick this. Kind of a country folk indie, uh, very minimal but beautiful. And uh, my uh, peeps I was with, uh, I think it was Jose, uh, suggested that this is the one I should get out of the ones they had there. And of course, uh, Vashi Bunyan, uh, this is, was her first album. I never had this record. I have one of the albums she did later when she came back. Uh, folk singer from the UK, just made records and got out of the business for decades. Um, there's been reissues. This is definitely a, a new reissue of that first album. I just didn't have it. So I've been wanting this. It's been on my mind, but I just keep forgetting about it. Got this just because you'll see why. This is a bootleg. And this is a bootleg that you see occasionally. And Beatle Freaks, uh, like me, need this just for the collection. I don't even know why I bothered. But this is a Blood Zeppelin bootleg. Obviously, the M emulate you know what um what zeppelin here so that's fun now probably the best things that i got the rarest things are three albums by beck i'm all in on beck and i didn't have this record this is uh, a reissue from about a decade ago one foot in the grave this is when he was doing more of the indie folky country stuff lo-fi stuff i include some extra tracks at the time so this is a two lp set I didn't have that. We have uh, Stereo Pathetic Soul Manure by Beck. Now, this is a rare one. Uh, this is on Flipside, Pasadena. So, I uh, got this. I have, I've have i had this on CD, but never on vinyl. So, uh, I, don't, I never see this on vinyl, so I grabbed it. And last but not least, a uh, pretty nice copy, anyway, of Mellow Gold. This is, uh, this is the big breakout Beck had, and uh, these need to be reissued, these records. Uh, some of them have been. forgot if this was. This is an original, original copy on Bong Load Records by Beck. So Beck, it was Beck for me. So thanks for watching. My voice is going to warm up and get more uh, sexy as it did go on. But uh, thanks for watching uh, the uh, Austin Record Show. Heading home as he loves you.